Log in to the odd numbered server with the default admin account. Go to Active Directory Users and Computers, create three OUs, each with two users. Then go to Group Policy Management Console, right click 10A, create a group policy in this domain, name it GPOA, click OK, right click GPOA and click Edit. Under User Configuration, go to Policies, Administrative Templates, Start Menu and Taskbar, and in the right pane, double click Remove Run Menu from Start Menu. Select the Enabled Radio button, click OK. Close the editor. Right click 10B, create a new GPO, GPO B. Right click GPO B, select Edit. Go to User Configuration Policies, Administrative Templates, Start Menu and Taskbar, and double click Remove Help Menu from Start Menu. Click Enabled. Click OK. Close the editor. Right click 10C, create GPO, GPO C. Right click GPO C, go to Edit, Policies, Administrative Templates, Start Menu and Taskbar, and double click Remove Search Link from Start Menu. Enabled. Click OK. Close the editor. Close Group Policy Management. On the odd numbered computer, open a command prompt window. Type in gp update space slash force, click enter, type yes, and Windows will reboot. All right, when the server reboots, go ahead and sign in to the odd numbered computer with the 10a user1 account. Um, open up command prompt and type in gp result space slash r. Look under Applied Group Policy Objects and be sure that GPOA is displayed. This is the uh, group policy object that we created for the 10A OU. Close the command prompt window. Then on the even numbered computer, go ahead and log in as uh, 10A user 2. Open a command prompt window. And just to be safe, let's do GP update space slash force. Give it a minute and restart the computer. Once the computer restarts, go ahead and type in GP result space slash R. All right, once the computer reboots, log back in, start up command prompt, and type in GP result slash R. Then wait a couple of minutes, and the result should come up. And once it loads, check under the applied group policy objects and see GPOA, the group policy object that we created for 10A user group. On the odd numbered computer, log in as 10C. User 1. Click the Start menu and in the search box type rsop.msc. Click Enter. Once you type in your password and click OK, you will see a group policy error message. Click Close. Alright, expand administrative templates. Click Start menu and taskbar. You can see Remove Search Link from Start menu that applies to this user account and it is displayed here. Let's double click that. It'll show us what it's set to. We cannot make any changes to it whatsoever. None at all. Let's go ahead and close that window. Switch to the even number computer. Log in as 10C user 2. And once you log on, you can do the exact same thing and you will get the very same results. An error message, click close. It loads and then you can view the policy settings that apply to you. Can't make any changes to them. So we'll go ahead and log out of here. And on the odd number computer, go ahead and log in as the default administrator. Click start and run the rsop.msc. And this time we will see no error message. It will just pop up and everything is dandy because we are the admin. So we can go ahead and close that. Everything's working fine. All right, on the odd numbered computer, log in as the default administrator and open up Active Directory Users and Computers. Right click the 10BOU. Create new group. Name it 10B Group 1. Click OK. Right click Group 1. Go to Properties. Click the Members tab and add 10B User 1 to the group. Click OK. Click OK. Open Group Policy Management. Expand Group Policy Objects. Click GPOB. Select Authenticated Users and click Remove. Click OK. 
Click add. Add the 10B1 group. Click OK. Close group policy manager and close the Active Directory users and computers. Log off both of the computers. Okay, on the odd number computer, log in as the administrator, go to command prompt and type in gp update slash force. Once the computer reboots, log in as 10b user one, open command prompt and go ahead and type in uh, gp result slash r. And there you can see gpob, and you can also see this user is a part of the following security groups. Here is the group that we created, 10B group one. All right, hit the start button. You'll notice there, there's no help and support section. That's been taken away. However, if we were to log in with 10B user two, who is not a part of the group that we created, uh, the help and support option would still be there. So if you log into either computer, using that other account, the 10B user 2 account, you'll notice that the help and support uh, menu item is still there because uh, they're not a part of the group that we applied the group policy to. Let's open the start menu and type in rsop.msc, click enter. We'll be asked for our password and you'll see this uh, error, just close it. Under administrative templates, you'll notice there's a desktop section but there's no, there's no Windows start menu section. If we want the GPO to apply to all the authenticated users, all we have to do is open up Group Policy Manager, select that object, and change it from the group that we created to all authenticated users. And then it would apply it to all the authenticated users in that OU instead of just the group within that OU. On the even number computer, log in as the default administrator of domain 1. Open a command prompt window and type in net stop spooler. Click enter. This has stopped the print spooling service. Go ahead and key in sc config schedule start spooler. Press enter. Back on the odd numbered computer, start up the group policy management console. Right click domain one.local and create a GPO in this domain. Name it GPOD. Click OK. Right click the GPOD object and then click Edit. Under Computer Configuration, go to Policies, Expand Windows Settings, Expand Security Settings, Local Policies, and Security Options. In the right pane, double click Interactive Login Do Not Display Last Username. Check the Define This Policy setting, then click OK. Then you can close the Editor Console. Over in the left-hand pane, click WMI Filters. Click New. Key in Print Spooler Disabled. Then click Add. Key in Schedule and Then click OK. Click Save. And then click GOPD in the left hand pane. Click this drop down box right here and select Print Spooler Disabled. Would you like to change the WMI filter to Print Spooler Disabled? Yes. Then you can close the Group Policy Management Console. On the even numbered computer, still logged in as the default administrator, click Command Prompt and type in GP Update Force. Once again, this will require you to reboot the computer. Just select yes, and the computer will reboot. And when the computer starts up, you will notice that you no longer see the last person who logged in.